I don't go shooting where your heart be Cause you take the bullet trying to save me Then I'm left to do what I'm making full-time curls and I'm back with another video and as you can see I'm in a different location um, I actually just moved into my apartment so this is the view maybe I haven't really decided where I'm gonna be filming um, but right now this is the view that you're gonna be seeing me in so I'm no longer in that cramped up bathroom space that I was in before I hated it there my bathroom uh, counter was cluttered it was just a mess honey so this is the new space but this is not why I'm coming to you all so this new video is going to be about a new product that I just ordered I actually ordered two of them but I'm only gonna be um, reviewing one of them maybe maybe do the next one in the future if you all end up liking this product um, but I saw this product on um, not YouTube on Instagram and I don't even have my phone with me but it's called um, hair wax um, hair color wax I think it is I can link the name of the Instagram page at the bottom of the screen for you um, but basically it's just a temporary very temporary hair color and I don't even want to call it a hair color it's a hair paint or hair wax because it doesn't actually color the hair it well it does it just coats the hair so it doesn't go into your cuticle it doesn't lift out any of your own pigmented hair it doesn't last for weeks it lasts literally until you wash it out so for me it'll probably last a day because I don't usually I wash my hair quite often um, but I decided to get this because as I told you all I am always wanting to color my hair always um, and you know I've went rose gold I told you that I already did this color um, and I ended up covering that color up with like a goldish tone to so that's where I'm at now um, but it's just too much to keep coloring my hair and try to do all these funky things so I found a way to do it without being committed and not damaging my hair so in this video I'm gonna be using the red one this is what it looks like inside of it now you have to take note that depending on your hair color it's always going to show up differently but on their site they have different colors so they have white so you can mix the white with the red and make it pink you can mix the white with um the blue make it a lighter blue they have gold they have silver they have so many colors um but these are the ones i wanted and then this is the blue just to show you another option um so what i'm going to do with my hair is i've already put some moisturizer in it i put my regular moisturizer which was the hawaiian silky rub that through there because this stuff is not really moisturizing in my opinion and it says um um, from the comments I read on Instagram people recommended well they recommended also that you um, put your regular hair products in first and then put the hair paint in there so I've already done that and I'm gonna do a twist out and I'm just gonna take um, just a little bit of it cause this paint well yeah you can call it paint this paint is really really thick um, so it's not anything that's light and I'm gonna do my best with trying to coat it all over just the blonde I'm not going to hit my roots because I don't want my roots to be a different color I just want to keep them black um, and then go into the red and then if you need to you can add some more and I'm just going to twist it up Um, and I would suggest you have a towel or some type of napkin to wipe your hands off because um, it doesn't technically stain the fingers, but it will get all over the place. So again, I'm just going to take a little bit of product. And with my hair, I sort of can see how much more extra I need because I can see what's coating the blonde and what's not. But if you have darker hair, um, 
it's really going to be probably just your preference how um i guess pigmented you want it to be um and how heavy you want the product to be on your hair and before i even put this in i did test it to see if it does wash out easily and it does um so i put like the red and the blue in the front of my head um, and all I did was just rinse it with water I didn't even use shampoo and it came right out so technically you don't have to use shampoo or anything else to um, get it to come out you could just use water but I would suggest if you really want it out to clean your hair and use shampoo So this is the finished product um i really didn't i tried my best to get it fully saturated but i really don't have enough time to really be that precise with it so i'm sure there's probably areas that i missed as far as um making sure that um the color was on everything but for the most part it's on there and i'm happy with it um i will tell you that it will give you a little bit of a crunchy feel to the hair I'll have to see what tomorrow is going to bring um, but right now some of them that are sort of starting to dry are a little bit crunchy um, but here's what it's looking like I'm hoping I don't have I'm hoping I don't have any random pieces that are just like blonde but um, yeah so I'm going to sleep on this with the bonnet because as you can see all of my sheets are white I cannot have this on my sheets so I'm going to sleep with a bonnet on, maybe two to be safe. Um, and then I'm going to wake up in the morning and I'll show you all the results. So stay tuned. What's up, you guys? I'm back and it is the end of my day. It's like um, six o'clock right now. Um, so I have had this product in. I actually meant to show you all. So at the end of my video, I didn't close out or did I close out? I don't think I closed out because my goal was to do this first, this last section and film it so I could put it on Instagram, but I didn't hit the record button. So um, I didn't, I wasn't able to close out the video last night, but basically all I did is I put two bonnets on um, because this stuff does transfer really easily. Um, let me see. Not so much anymore now that it's completely dry, but it does transfer really bad when it's still wet. So I slept in it. My twists were not dry in the morning, which I was a little surprised because this stuff, it is sort of, um, I don't even know how to explain it, but I would have thought that it would have soaked up a lot of the moisture out of my hair, but it didn't. So um, when I took it out, I had to, and I didn't have time to film me taking it out. Um, I was rushing this morning, so I'm sorry. This is like an incomplete video, um, but I had to, sorry y'all, my head is killing me and this light, this ring light is bright, but I need y'all to get the point. But anyways, so what I had to do is I took each twist down and I blow dried it as I went, but you can see that this product really didn't give me any frizz, even though my hair was not dry. And say I didn't have this product in and I just did my regular Hawaiian Silky um, and just did a twist out, my hair would have been frizzy. But with this product, it um, reduced the frizz down, which is something that I really liked about it. Um, when I did take it out in the morning, I will tell you that it was really crunchy, not even crunchy it was just sort of stiff because the product I guess is like a wax almost it isn't when it goes on it's creamy but when it dries it's like a wax so it was sort of crunchy right now even at the end of the day it's still sort of crunchy so um, if you've ever had a product where 
when you try to fluff it at the roots you can fluff it where you don't really have a lot of the product but at the rest of your hair you can't because it's so stiff that's sort of what this product gave me and I don't like that because I like to fluff my hair out a lot so what I had to do instead of wearing it just out I had to pin it up on the sides to make it look a little bit better which is whatever um so that was sort of a negative to me but right now it's not as bad as it was this morning I guess now that it's fully dried um I do like the po like the pigment of it um on me it sort of turned out it's like a red but it's also like a pink almost um it did cover very well there are some spots that I missed so it's not that the product didn't cover my hair it's that there's some spots that I missed um so, but overall it did cover I'll let you all see it on both sides um what else would I like to say about it I'm loving it I really like it this morning I did not like it but now that my hair has dried and it's been able to fluff itself out some more I do actually really like it um I don't think there's much else that I want to say about the product. Overall, I would recommend it to somebody. I'm going to be dead truthful with you all. I would recommend it, I, especially if you're somebody like me who likes to experiment with a lot of colors, but you don't want to either lighten your hair or you don't want to color your hair after you've already lightened it. I would do something like this. There are tons of these colors out in the world. This is just the one I bought. Um, I know there's another one called crown paints. Um, I was going to get that, but I ended up seeing these and they're a little bit cheaper and you get more, you get a big, t I showed you the size of it with the crown paint to get smaller consistency, but in the future I may try those. So there's other options you can do, but if you're definitely a person like me, I would grab these and just go crazy because now, um, after I will end up washing this, which I, I'm not going to wash it today. Um, after I wash it, I will try the blue and then I will mix them together and make purple. I do want to purchase, they have a white, which I want to purchase so I can make this more pink. So I can mix it with the red, make it more pink, mix it with the blue, make it a little bit lighter, aqua, um, and do some other fun things. But you can just go crazy with all the colors they have. And they don't have a wide range of colors, but they have those primary colors. And the, well, I don't think they have yellow, but they have gold. But they have those primary colors so that you can make other colors and they have some of the secondary colors too. So you you could do a lot with them that is all i have to say about this product in this video i hope you all enjoyed it um hopefully i can come to you all with some more videos a little bit quicker i've gotten in the salon now and i have another job i've just my schedule is just really crazy so i don't have a lot of time to do a lot of videos but when i do have time and i can think of videos to do i do I will do them. I was about to say I do do them. <laughs> I do do. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can see more videos like this one that you just saw. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And of course, if you have any questions at all about this product, about my hair, just about anything in general, please put the um, question or the comment in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to answer it for you. But that is, again, that is it for this video and I will see you all on the next one. Peace out.